welcome back to Linux Network. Today we're taking a look at GNOME 48 Alpha. This is an early preview of the upcoming GNOME desktop environment set to release its final version on March 19, 2025. While this is just the alpha version, meaning it's still in development and not perfect yet, it's packed with fresh features and improvements that are worth checking out. So, let's break it down. If you're new to Linux or desktop environments, GNOME is one of the most popular and user-friendly desktop environments. It's like the control center of your Linux system, giving you the interface, apps and settings you use every day. Think of it as the heart and soul of your computer's visual experience. With GNOME 48 Alpha, developers have been working hard to make it faster, more user-friendly and future-rich. Here are some of the headline features that make this release exciting. Ever plug in your headphones and wonder if your system noticed? GNOME 48 Alpha has added a new feature that gives you an on-screen notification when you connect your headphones. It's a small thing but super handy for users who switch between speakers and headphones frequently. GNOME 48 is taking a step towards helping users maintain a healthier relationship with their computers. You can now set limits on how long you or others can use the computer. The system will remind you to take breaks, great for avoiding eye strain and improving productivity. GNOME 48 brings several behind-the-scenes improvements that make the desktop feel smoother and more responsive. Improved color management ensures your screen displays colors more accurately. Better support for monitors connected to secondary GPUs means higher frame rates and less input lag. If you're a developer, you'll love these updates. Built-in render dock support. This helps developers debug and improve graphics performance. Convenience logging API makes it easier for extension developers to track what's happening in their code. GNOME isn't just about the desktop environment, it also comes with a suite of apps. Let's talk about some of the updates. The software center is where you find and install apps and it's gotten some love in GNOME 48. Updates now load faster, so you're not stuck waiting forever. When installing Snap apps is now smoother. The system will warn you if an app has access to your microphone, keeping you informed about your privacy. No Maps now uses a new backend service called Motis V2 for better public transit information. It also has new animations for marking favorite locations and a refresh look for buttons and menus. Loop Image Viewer This app is stepping up its game. Displays extra details about images like XMP metadata useful for photographers and adds basic image editing tools like cropping, rotating and flipping. Epiphany, GNOME's built-in web browser got several handy improvements. Simplified settings for importing bookmarks and passwords and a privacy report to help you see how websites are tracking your data. Orca, the app that helps visually impaired users has been fine-tuned. It's now faster and more responsive, even when apps flood the system with too many events. It also has better handling of spell check and clipboard features. GNOME's Control Center aka Settings has received some exciting updates. If your laptop supports it, you can limit the battery's maximum charge to prolong its lifespan. And a new button lets you manage custom search locations easily. For gamers and graphics designers, GNOME 48 Alpha adds new support for advanced display protocols. This makes things like dragging windows or moving your cursor between screens feel more fluid. There's also better support for secondary GPUs, which is good news for those with dual GPU setups. The on-screen keyboard has been redesigned to look and work better. Notifications are easier to read thanks to improved contrast. The quicker settings menu has been polished for a cleaner, more modern look. Some of GNOME's other apps got minor but useful updates. GNOME Calendar, the event editor dialog looks better and it's easier to use. Evans Document Viewer has improved support for Adobe PDF features. And GNOME Calculator has new pressure units conversions and a shortcut to clear history. Even GNOME's fun little games like Sudoku and Mines got tweaks to make them more enjoyable. 
The final version of GNOME 48 is scheduled for release on March 19, 2025. But if you're adventurous, you can test the alpha version now. Just remember, alpha versions are unfinished and may have bugs. The beta version will arrive in early February, followed by the release candidate in early March. This release shows GNOME's commitment to making Linux desktop better for everyone. Whether you're a casual user, a gamer or a developer, there's something here for everyone. It's exciting to see how far GNOME has come and where it's headed. And as always, if you found this video useful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.